Hey everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make this kind of gentleman outfit for a stuffed animal that includes a top hat, bow tie, and cane. Now let's get started! Today I'm going to be making this for my cousin's stuffed animal, which is this sloth. He is part of the Pusheen universe, and he has Velcro on his hands and chest, so you can kind of make him do different positions. Now I'm first going to start on making the top hat. I'm choosing to make this using black felt, so this will involve sewing, but you can always do a version with black construction paper. I went with felt because at my cousin's house it gets kind of crazy, so I didn't want it to accidentally get crushed. But right now I'm just going to cut out the main hat piece, which is just one very long rectangle. And I'll link the patterns below, but this is pretty easy to measure. Just measure around your stuffed animal's head for the length and however tall you want it for the height. Next, I'm going to wrap this around the stuffed animal's head and overlap the sides in the back and then pin them together. Since I have it in a tube like this, it's nearly impossible to use a sewing machine to sew this in place. But if you do want to use a sewing machine, just make the rectangle a little bit longer and then just fold it in half and sew those open sides together. Then you can just turn it inside out. But since I'm sewing mine by hand, I'm just overlapping them in the back and just using a back stitch to sew this together. Unfortunately, you can't really see how I'm doing the back stitch very well, but right here I'll recommend a video where I actually show you how to do the back stitch. After I'm done, I can just tie that thread off and move on to cutting out the top piece for this top hat. I could have done a bunch of math to get the size of the circle, but I think this way is just easier and more accurate. I just placed this on a piece of paper and traced its shape, and you should actually trace around the outside of this, not the inside. But once I cut this out, this will be the template for the top of the hat and the hole for the brim of the hat. So I've already drawn a circle the size I want the brim to be, and now I can just put that smaller circle in the center and trace around it, and then cut this hole out. Now I can just pin this back on the black felt and cut them out. If you cut out the inside of the circle really carefully, you might be able to use it for the top of the hat, but after trying it on top of the hat, I realized it was way too small, and so I cut out my second circle slightly bigger than the pattern. Now before sewing this on, I need to turn this kind of tube piece inside out, and then I'm going to lay the circle piece on top and line up the edges. We're basically sewing this good side to good side, and I'm not doing a back stitch for this. All I'm doing is inserting my needle through the same side over and over, so the thread's going over the raw edges. And this is definitely a very easy stitch, but it does take a while. I'm going to continue doing that all the way around, and then I can lock my stitch. After that, I can turn this piece inside out, and as you can see, now there is a nice clean edge where they're connected. And now I'm going to grab the brim of the hat and lay it kind of good side to good side with that bottom edge. And then continue that same stitch as last time, just entering my needle through the same side over and over again. As I was doing this, I was starting to realize the hole in the brim of the hat was too small. And if that happens, you'll just want to cut the hole wider, even if it's a little uneven. But after sewing all the way around, this top hat is done. And now I'm going to try this on. And I forgot to do this, but you can always add some ribbon to the bottom of the top hat to give it a pop of color. Next, I'm going to add the bow tie. I made a whole other video dedicated to this, so I'll just direct you to there to see a full tutorial on how I made this bow tie. It's pretty fast and easy, and please don't be alarmed by how long the video is. That's because I made two different kinds of ties. Now let's move on to this last accessory for this gentleman's ensemble, which is a little walking cane. I just made a template that kind of looks like a candy cane, and I'll have this linked in the description box, but it will be pretty tall since this sloth is a tall guy. I've just pinned it to brown felt folded over, and now I'm just going to cut it out so I get two pieces. And for this, I am going to use a sewing machine, but this can always be done by hand as well. I have the two pieces flipped good side to good side, which doesn't really matter with felt, but I'm just going to sew around the outer edge of this cane shape, leaving a little opening kind of at that curve. So when I turn it inside out, I'm right in the middle. After sewing around it, I can turn this inside out. It's definitely going to be tricky because this cane is pretty skinny, but I first started poking out that smaller part, which is definitely easier. And once that's fully out, I can work on the longer side, which is harder. But you really want to just turn that inside out a little bit, then put the end of a paintbrush or pencil in that pocket, and then pull everything down around it. Once I got that, I used the paintbrush to press out all the other edges. Now it's time to stuff this, so I'm grabbing a tiny bit of stuffing at a time and trying to move it all the way to the bottom, or to the other end of the cane. I use the paintbrush again to help me with this, and adding a little bit at a time is key because if you just put a bunch of it in the middle, it's never going to be able to travel all the way down. After stuffing the whole cane little by little, I can finally close up the opening. I'm just going to use the same stitch I used to sew the brim of the top hat on, and this may be slightly more difficult because of the stuffing, so the sides really don't want to touch each other, but as you stitch it together, it will eventually be all closed up. After that, I just locked my stitch and cut off the extra, and the cane is done. Now we can put everything together. I call this an outfit, but it's really just a bunch of accessories. That kind of gives me Greatest Showman vibes if you've seen that movie. 
But since one of his hands have the teeth of the Velcro on it, that should stick to the felt and that way he can hold the cane. I hope my cousin likes his new outfit and I made sure to get him home really fast because I heard that his wife and kid were missing him. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like and comment down below and please subscribe if you haven't already. I recently reached 1,000 subscribers and I'm so grateful to all of you for watching my videos and helping me live out my dream. I appreciate you all so much and I'll see you next time.